Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 7th of October and today we are stealing three parts of the Jones Project while avoiding alarms as much as possible. We are frail so we'll try not to die. X off world doesn't matter. We got a hammer, we got a crash beam, we got stealth shields. That's, that's a good set of equipment. We can stealth past people to not be seen and if they have uh, detection heat sensor things we can crash them. That's pretty cool. Let's go. All right, we got heat sensors. We got explosives. Serious guard kit. Yada, yada, yada. I'm sure it'll be fine as long as I don't screw it up. Don't duck. Thank you. Doop, doop, three seconds, let's go. And that's definitely a crate we're gonna pick up. Maybe going back for that one, we'll see. Uh, we could go down here, shoot you. That'll take out everyone that can set off an alarm there. Same with here. Then do a couple smacks, grab that, and then get out. That is a, that, 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 that is a detour. That is a detour right there. So yeah, I think we're going down. We're going down. In an earlier round. I didn't know it said in an earlier round until like earlier this year. I didn't know what it said. We just say we go down, down, in an earlier round. Loud, but concussive is technically irrelevant. Do I go for a crate? Ship one. We don't have anything that speeds us up, really. So I'll make my way forward and hope that it's decent. That's not decent. It could be relevant. That's not what I wanted. All right, we want to use the lethal one after we take another step and deactivate you, and then we shoot, and then we're good. Boom. It really just gave me two loud guns in an uh, alarmless day. Now I was just going to shoot you earlier, but now I technically got to worry about Alarms a little bit, but now it doesn't matter. I'll just shoot you, and then we go over here. And then it is nice to have a concussive ranged option, so I can just do that. You don't hear that sound too often. Sound of a loud concussive gun. I think they're usually silenced. Wait, wouldn't you hear it? Do the shotguns have a different sound? Maybe you do hear it, because actually, yeah, it would be the defender has a loud shotgun. I'm not actually sure if they have the same sound. Then we have something. It's a beam of some sort, so I don't really care for it. And out we go. We'll get the pod moving. We can technically use that shotgun out in space. However, we are frail. And there is always the risk of shooting yourself. So I don't think we can justify doing that. Is it quick fire? It is quick fire. If we ever pick up a slipstream, we could probably use that for a very quick leaving of the ship. Next, we got 
wrenches and glitch dashes and some guns. 15 seconds, so we gotta be very careful about our approach. So it is orbiting tightly. Defender could be... Nah, it's not really that much of an issue. Nope, I need to remember that it's orbiting. So something like this angle, I think. There we go. Okay, if you're walking off to the left, then that's a bit of a problem. If you're walking up, that's great, because then we can easily deal with everyone here. We just need to get far enough down to crash them if they are going to the left, so it's not the worst. And if we can get you, eh, we'll, we'll decide on ship or room two later. And of course, you are going to the left. Unless, okay, is there something I can do about this? Actually, actually, this might be fine. This might be fine. Because we can get right here. And would you look at that, our loud weapon is actually relevant. Make sure uh, they're not in, gonna be in range of the defender. There we go. That definitely feels like a different sound. Now, I meant to sack the pod with my random guns, but it doesn't matter too much. It definitely feels like a different sound. All right, we can go for this crate. Uh, mm, 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 mm. So you're protecting until right here. So we can... There's too great of a chance where if we shoot right here that they'll still be in range of the defender. So we could do that and just crash them. We send like two crashes for the people that teleport and then one crash for the defender. And then we don't need any more crashes down here. And then we can get this crate. Do I go for the crate? I was... I guess... Uh, mm -hmm. The gun did end up being helpful. My gut says don't go for the crate. Do I care about the defender's gun? I already have loud weapons. It is automatic, which is kind of nice, but no, we're just not gonna do it. Just gonna steal from you and then leave. And then gotta go over here. Might as well disable alarms. Disable people to varying amounts. Dash, dash, and we get a part of the James Project. That is a teleporter. That is a swapper. That is rechargeable. Oop. Uh, single use. Still nice. Yeah, remote control. Get this. Yeah, this doesn't. That's not a really good ship layout for that. Too many chances of the pod getting in here and just bouncing around. All right, arms disabled. Don't have to worry about the ship unloading too much. And out we go for about 10. 10 seconds.
Alright, for ship three, we've got armor. Do we have armor piercing? I don't think we have armor piercing. Random kits. Okay, so it's the main guards that are armored and have heat sensors. We've only got three crash beams. Hmm, that could be a little tricky. Do you have anything in here? A gun. Probably should have taken one of the extra wrenches laying around, but oh well. Locked door that we can't get into. I'm now kind of feeling like maybe I should have got that crate on ship too. But I followed my gut. When has my gut ever steered me wrong? It has actually done so often. Alright, we can... I'm thinking lure... to get that key. It'll take a little bit of time, but then we get that, get the crates, and then decide what to do from there. This second room looks pretty bad for us. I'm gonna be saving these crash beams for like emergencies, I think. And I would like your item, but it's going to be hard to do that without setting off the alarm. You're going on an errand, which is good for me. Where's the key here? You've got the key here. Mm, once we get down here, we can take out the pilot. But that's pretty late. It doesn't matter which way we approach this way from, because it's either go all the way around here or go all the way around that way. If we had a teleporter... Okay, this key's pretty nice to have. That key's not amazing to get. Hmm. Alright. Oh, they're not gonna see me, are they? I don't think they're even gonna see me. Hmm. Yeah, so my plan was to lure them around here so that I could then jump in and get their key while they're looking at me so they don't set off the alarm, but... That becomes a problem if they... if there's a wall in the way. They might not even be able to see me at that angle either. This is tricky! I'm now wishing I went for that crate on ship too, for sure. Hmm, yeah, I was not expecting the armor heat sensor combo. She's got the three crash beams. I can spend two crash beams here. Can I do this without any? Possibly. Okay, I'm going to lower the amount of crashes I need here, hopefully. My goal is to just use one, uh, but I, I think that'll be good. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. We'll start off with the hammer because it's got the faster cooldown. Go ahead and crash you because we'll need to do that anyways. Can we just take a couple steps to get your key? Just a couple steps. There we go. 
And then I need to dash in a way that I don't leave your sight until I leave your field, which is pretty easy. And then I leave. Sidewinder saves us. Oh, that is so good. And that's extremely relevant for here. Okay, so in that case, we want to go down here. Oh, that is, Sidewinder is amazing. Yeah, so this is like grab key, sidewind. Sidewind, get down through here. That's so good. Okay. So that's two sidewinds, like sidewind here, sidewind here, and then probably sidewind here just so I don't have to worry about crash beams and them like getting out through here and then getting back out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I want to save three sidewinds for there if possible. may need a sidewind for... I think I can do this in one sidewind. One sidewind and one crash is actually pretty easy. Get down here. Sad that I can't get either of these crates. Don't get shot by the sentry gun. Can I do this in one sidewind? That one's a little more tricky. Hmm. Okay. Can I do this in no sidewinds? That seems good. I think I can do this in no sidewinds. Will this be loud enough? It is, okay. All right, do I wanna conk you? I think I wanna conk you because I need you to move. I also need to do this in an area that you can see. Okay, so I dash up here, wait for a recharge. Yeah, you should be able to see this. And we can crash if we need to. There we go. Grab the key. You walking out here's a bit of a wrinkle. In the plan. But we're just gonna try and ignore you. All right, once you've gone far enough, we thwack you as well, so now while you're stunned, you can't set off the alarm. And the con camera will stun you longer than the wrench will. Somehow broke their line of sight, which is funny. And then I'm slightly worried about you recovering and setting off the alarm, but that's what the crash beam is for. Not out of it yet. We're out of it yet, yay! Hey, we did that. All right, so now we can sidewind, sidewind. Uh, they, them moving makes it a little awkward, but sidewind, 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 sidewind. There we go. Try to angle this right. Steel sidewind right now is gonna put me in their field. Yeah, I can't dash into these walls because then I'll break line of sight with them. So I gotta do a dash straight to the center. And then get down here and get out before they recover. Which is thankfully a good amount of time. Alright. 
You being right here is mildly annoying, but we have crash beams for that. You walking down there is... Well, would, is almost mildly annoying, but you're just far enough away that I can go here. Steal. Sidewind. Dash. Jones Project Part 3. What is it? That looks like a grenade launcher. It's a grenade launcher. I'm not going to mess with it. Don't want to impact blow myself up while I'm frail or something. And then for you, I'll just crash you, just make things mildly easier. And then we can have the pod moving. Here we go. Boop. A little boop. And... Uh, I was going to shoot, but just to be safe, I'm just going to dash out. Don't want to make any noise. And there we go. Okay. That was, that was, chip three was a little tricky. At least the first bit, well, the whole thing was a bit tricky. Sidewinders made things a little less tricky, but we still had to do one more trick. Uh, slightly over time. Yeah, that was good. Yep, this that, that was that was a lot of a lot of like site management with the heat sensors, which you don't normally have to do. And working out when they can see you while you're in their field versus not, and also while they're stunned and stuff. That was fun. That was fun. I like that. Alright, 598. Leaves me in first place with 38 seconds and a 598. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that one. Quite happy. Yesterday, we had a perfect style bonus with a time of 10 seconds. Should have been zero seconds, but I screwed it up. I screwed up the bashing angle on ship three. Turns out the ship was in orbit and that changes directions. That was a silly mistake of mine, but I made it work. Aside from that little mishap, happy with it. I'm happy with how I uh, recovered it as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. 10 seconds, 600. Love it. It's good. 7-2, coming up in second place. Cassandra in third, Rond in fourth, and Adjar Ankh in fifth place. Making up the top five. Very nice job, everybody. And with that... That is all for today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.